Hi, I'm Brad Thor, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about my new thriller, Code of Conduct. The idea for Code of Conduct actually came from a real life event. Several years ago, arguably one of the most powerful organizations in the world held a secret meeting high in the Austrian Alps at this beautiful chalet, and they were there to discuss how they were going to further their agenda. And they all agreed that the biggest impediment to them being successful was the United States. And unless a way could be found to wipe the United States off the world stage, to basically level them, to collapse the United States, they were not going to be successful. And documents from this meeting got leaked, and an article was written. And I read that article and I said, this is very, very cool stuff. It felt like a movie. It felt like a thriller. What's different about this book, in particular, is Scott Harvath. I asked my wife, I said, what was your favorite part of Code of Conduct? And I thought she'd pick a scene that she really liked or a location. But the thing that stuck with me is my wife said, we've always known what Scott Harvath thinks. Now we know how he feels. And that was where I set the bar for myself with this book, was how do I help readers know Scott Harvath even more? How do I show them even more of his character? And it was an interesting balancing act for me because I've always said that a character like James Bond or Indiana Jones, you don't necessarily want them to be different at the end of the book. But if you can learn a little bit more about them, where they come from, why they do what they do, how they think, yes, but also a little bit about how they feel, that's kind of that cement that bonds you with them. And that's what I set out to do with Scott Harvath in this thriller. There's not a lot I can tell you about the kind of surprises in the book, but I will tell you that I purposely crafted a one-two punch. And that was one of those things that I kind of threw up on the whiteboard when I was planning out the book. And I said, okay, I know what that first punch is going to be, but how do I sneak the second one in? And you are never going to see it coming because by the time it hits you, you are going to be reeling from that first punch and this is going to knock you for a loop. I, I knew from the outset that I wanted to do that, that that was something I hadn't done before in my novels. And when I settled on what that second punch was going to be, I said, oh, this is yet another piece of code of conduct that's going to take this book to a completely different place, an even better place.